Uh, hi, my name is Lawrence. Hi, I'm. A wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is it We won't get through the intro. I got a meeting at nine. Hi, I'm Lawrence. Hi, I'm Jeff, and we're from Viewline Direct. And, and this, this is, is Promo, Promo Unplugged. Unplugged. So we're gonna play a game today. This is called Who Is? And we're gonna find a little bit more about Jeff. All right. Okay, so the first question is, is Jeff, I don't know what it's gonna say, a saver or a spender? Wow. Wow. Do I have to? Oh, yeah, That's a I good have question. To that. You have to answer this question. You know what? That's a good question um, to ask. I've been a spender most of my life, but my brother is a financial advisor, and he's been a saver all of his life, and he's been training me the past couple of years, and so far, I love the results. I've been saving a lot more, and uh, yeah. Jeff is extremely fashionable, so he's definitely a spender, one hundred percent. There's no Actually, question. Actually, I'm not. I don't even try. <laughs> you don't you know have to try. <laughs> Comes natural. Okay, so next question is Jeff. What's this gonna say? Into true crime. Wow, that's interesting. So on our ride to Orlando recently, we were listening to a, a podcast about uh, was it uh, the Idaho murders? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. Back in the day, I used to watch that stuff like Snapped and some of those crime series and stuff. But now I can barely go through a, a basketball game that I love. You know, there's so much going on and I don't have the same amount of time or patience for it. Yeah, I, I'm single, not married. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, true crime for sure. <laughs> like AME, you know. Well, listen, that's, that's not a crime. So, listen. It's not enjoy, a crime. Enjoy what you can. Not a crime to be in, into... True, True crime. crime. So, okay. Now, does Jeff... Oh, can you look at this? Know their astrology... How do you say that? <laughs> astrological, I think. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Astrological science. It's all right. I'm reading this upside down. Um, I'm not big into astrology at all. I know I'm a Scorpio. Uh, whether it's, I don't know, moon, a sun, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think there's metals. There's a bunch of other things. Crystals. Uh, Crystals? Is it crystals? I don't know. But uh, I um, I met someone once who literally sat me down for almost an hour trying to convince me of who I was based on what she knew about my birthday, um, I guess the day I was born, the time I was born, and all that kind of stuff. Some of it was true, but most of it was really not. And so I don't really believe in that that much. Jeff was into astrology long before he got married. <laughs> once he got married, the whole dating aspect of... Oh my God, what's your sign? <laughs> oh, I'm a Gemini. My friends call me number two. Yeah, that was more interesting The most back philosophical then. of all the signs. I thought that's true. That was more interesting back then. <laughs> Icebreaker. Okay. <laughs> okay, so does Jeff, last question, buy lottery tickets? Ooh, um, have I bought lottery tickets? Yes. Do I buy lottery tickets? No, not really. The last one I bought was a couple weeks ago. I was putting gas in the car and I saw, I think, 250 something million a Powerball, and I think it was January 1st or something like that. I think it was. And I'm like, huh, maybe that's a sign. Maybe let me just go and, and, and sign like a astrological sign. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> that's be. a good one. So, um, yeah, I went on and bought two tickets, and obviously I lost. If I had one, I would probably not be here right now, but. <laughs> Jeff is a, is a generous gambler and habitual loser. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I can't wait for his. <laughs> all right you ready let's yes. do it all right so let's do it all right who is is lawrence a, a bargain, bargain hunter? hunter are you why yeah, well yeah i guess really <laughs> well he spent about two i'm a hours slave to, to fashion for sure he spent two hours trying to buy um, a jacket the other day yeah and it wasn't very cheap but <laughs> But um, I do most of my shopping. I, I think I'm like somewhat thrifty, I guess. Yeah. I'm a fashion diva. Well, I got so many shoes. I couldn't tell. But yeah, <laughs> that's uh... Yes, it's, it's, not, it's not commonly known well, you know that what? I'm a slave to fashion. But 
you know what we say about bargain hunting also if you spend four or five hours trying to save five bucks you're losing money i'm just saying right i don't spend four or five hours there shopping i'm a go. buyer not a shopper <laughs> so all right is lawrence a messy oh is lawrence messy or neat Ooh. did you want to answer this question no you do <laughs> you do <laughs> I'm sure there's a somewhere in between, <laughs> like you can come to my house and I, it looks okay, but you can tell a woman doesn't live there for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I would be, you know what, hmm, not to sound too philosophical, but messiness can really carry over into other areas of your life. It's not like you're just messy in the way you live. It's messy in the way you conduct yourself. So I think that I'm somewhat neat in, in that context right yeah i think you're in between i think you know you look I'm, at your I'm, desk and you look at you know a little sloppy the booth sometimes you, you're a little sloppy you would throw things <laughs> it looks like i'm working that's why my desk is messy because it looks like i'm working exactly. okay and there are studies about that too like messy desks and stuff like yeah. that with people that are creative and stuff i'm creative yeah. but i don't like my desk messy though I, and i don't trust people that are too neat either <laughs> all right good point good point all right does lawrence return the shopping cart. <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, you know, you have the Corel carts. I could be parked right next to a Corel car or a cart corral. Corral? Corel? I don't, know. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's those things. Yeah. You know those things. <laughs> yeah, I won't even bother. I'll just like push it down a hill. I'll just be like, you know, see if That's there's like right. a lake or a canal nearby. Just throw it in there. Not cool. Not cool. <laughs> Listen, man, someone has, I'm keeping people employed. There you go. Okay. Is Lawrence on any dating websites? And which one? No, no. You don't have to answer that which one for it. Um, well, um, currently, some of you lucky young ladies at home. Uh, well, possibly it depends. You know, it's it's hard. Listen, no, it's I, either I, you're on a dating website. I get it. Or I get not. it. I get it. But it's tough when you're traveling so much. You know, because it's uh, you know, I'm 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 a people person, right? And I like I like meeting Pretty people. Much. Um, I like meeting women. I think it's uh, interesting. And yeah, I guess I could be. I guess it depends. Like I said, it's like when I'm wow, home for extended I, periods of time I that would be and that I'm bored. It is complicated. So you are on a dating website, no, not right now. <laughs> There's no shame in that game. Sorry for y'all listening in Vegas. I'm not on a dating site. But if you come to Miami, you might just get lucky. Well, I met my wife on a dating website. So here, here you go. It is. Right? And they've been, and they're, they're like right three there. kids in. Three That's kids right. in. And how long y'all been married? uh eight years eight years eight, i think so yeah eight years yeah. wow yeah, yeah. so go. yes they're they're well lawrence doesn't have the same success stories <laughs> but maybe one day <laughs> one day one day lawrence is going to trick some lady into thinking he's a swell guy and i'll be like yeah i used to be on a dating website too once and, and this, this is, is promo, promo unplugged, unplugged.